Hey, Nick from Harvest Profit here. Hope all is well. Today, I'm going to teach you how to build a crop rotation spreadsheet that includes drop downs and conditional formatting that will show you how you can specifically highlight some issues regarding rotation restrictions. And so, uh, first of all, I want to tell you this isn't going to be the spreadsheet could be approved, improved on quite a bit. Uh, it, it li trying to live by the philosophy here, similar to the saying, you know, give a man a fish, you, know, you, you uh, provide for him to eat that day, you teach a man to fish, you can feed himself for a lifetime, uh, man or woman, obviously. And so we're going to just give you an overview of how you can think about this spreadsheet, and then you can customize it as you would like to do for your farm. So... I'm going to make a drop down list first. So we're going to say, I'm going to put a list of crops here corn, soybeans, with wheat. We'll say we're a, a farm with a little bit more diverse rotation. So here's our list of crops. I'm going to just be kind of picky here. I'm going to right align this. And the reason why I'm going to kind of, yeah, that doesn't work. So what we're going to do here, let's go back to left line. We're going to create a drop. We're going to create a list. So let's just say here's our fields. You know, field A, field B, field C, field D, field E, field F, D, H. You know, you could have, you know, five fields or 500 fields. Then I'm going to put some years in here, 2020. And rather than just typing them all out, we will go out to 2030. I'm going to center, bold, underline. And then I'm gonna create a list. So I'm gonna to go to data and then I'm gonna to go to validation, create a data validation. So we're gonna create a list. So I'm gonna pick these sources here for my list. Boom, done. See if we can, yeah, so we'll just copy that. Obviously we would wanna do something like acres, um, and really customize this. But let's just say, all right, we have corn, we have soybeans, soybeans, wheat, corn, sunflowers, peas, corn. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create some conditional logic here conditional logic within conditional formatting. So what we wanna do here is we wanna say, let's say our sunflowers has a three year rotation restriction where we need to, we can't plant sunflowers uh, the, the following three years after we raise the crop. And so, you know, I know a lot of people don't raise sunflowers, um, but You'll, you'll be able to see the uses here. You know, there, there are other crops with rotation restrictions, pulse crops, but uh, you might want to, you know, you can use this in a highly flexible amount of ways as you, you know, as common sense would tell you. So I'm gonna go up here to conditional formatting. I'm gonna create a new rule. I need to go to classic, so I'm not gonna use any of their predefined rules. And then I'm going to select use a formula. And the inter another interesting thing here is I'm going to use the formula or. Actually, I, I realize I have to do something a little different. I have to add one more. I have to add one more column here. And we'll just shrink this column down quite a bit. So we will, yeah, we'll do highlight these cells again. Conditional formatting, new rule. It's going to go to classic, and I want to define a formula. So we are going to say equals or. So if 
this and we don't want it to be we don't want it to be defined here so we we're going to remove that if this equals sunflowers or if c3 once again i'm going to remove this All right, sorry about that. New rule, once again, classic. Equals or if that cell equals sunflowers or if B3, C3 equals sunflowers, B3 equals sunflowers. So here you can see what we did. Now we have this highlighted in red for each one of these. So, you know, if we go in corn, soybeans, corn, you know, it does nothing. But if we all of a sudden do sunflowers here, sunflowers here, you can now start to visually see where you are restricted from raising sunflowers. Obviously, you would want to include a lot more in this spreadsheet, acres, yeah, just tons of different variables you would want to include here. Uh, I frankly, just to be really nitpicky, I'll make that white and I will just hide it. So we have our relatively simple spreadsheet here where we could do, you know, we'd want to add acres. We could sum, do a sum if and, and calculate the totals for each crop. But I just wanted to show the combination of one drop down list, two conditional formatting, and three the really flex the, the flexible nature of an or statement. So with that, that's a fun little spreadsheet here. Um, you can access it uh, using the Dropbox links. Dropbox link in this email. I'll put somewhere up in the upper right hand corner. They're always changing their UI, but you can download. Uh, you can download the spreadsheet, use it, keep it, sell it, do whatever you want with it. And with that, uh, you know, we're, people say we're kind of crazy teaching you how to use spreadsheets because spreadsheets compete with our software. So be it. Don't care. Just want to add value to your operation in any way we can. Thank you. Have a great day.